This video will show you how to install a Prefrit steer pusher into your manual roping chute. You'll need the following tools. Two 15 16 tools, like a socket ratchet or a wrench. Two 3 quarter inch tools, and one 9 16 tool. The first step is to attach the operator handle to the operating shaft using the 3 quarter inch nut and bolt included with your steer pusher. Next, slide the pivot bar of the operating shaft across the chute, fitting the brackets on the operating shaft over the top rail on the right side of the chute. In this scenario, we're referencing the right side of the chute as what would be the steer's right side when loaded in the chute. Now, position the U-shaped pushing panel inside the chute with the sheet metal side facing the tailgate. The top bar should slide into the open collar on the operating shaft. Next, you can put the collar attachment plate on the left side of the chute, fitting the arm of the operating shaft and the push panel into the collars on the attachment plate. Pick up one of the long flat bars and attach one end to the hole on the tailgate side of the collar attachment plate using one of the included long bolts. Place another long bolt through the hole on the headgate side of the collar attachment plate. Only hand tighten these bolts for now. Using a short bolt, attach the other end of the long flat bar to the tailgate linkage brace. Again, you will only hand tighten this connection. Move to the other side of the chute and repeat this process to attach the other flat bar. Again, only hand tightening all attachments for now. Next, install the operation slide on the left side of the chute. Fit the brackets on the bottom of the slide around the tops of the middle and rear arch braces on the top of the roping chute. Move the slide toward the chute center until the arms of the slide are touching the square tube that runs along the top of the roping chute. Using the medium length bolts, secure the brackets in place that are around the middle and rear arch braces. Use the two small L-shaped flat braces to secure the back arm of the operation slide with a square tube on top of the roping chute. Use two of the medium bolts and tighten these into place using your 3 quarter inch tools. You can now mount the lock box to the plate on the operation slider using four of the included lock box bolts. You will need to move the linkage arm on the operating shaft out of your way to attach the lock box. Tighten the bolts with your 3 quarter inch tool. Pushing down on the lock box tabs, adjust the locking bar so that you can attach the end of the lock bar. Use your 3 quarter inch tool to tighten this lock box bolt into place. You can now attach the short and long offset pivot bars. Begin with the long offset pivot bar, using the included 5 8 bolts. With the inner curve toward the inside of the chute, attach the end of this pivot bar through the tabs of the lock box. Attach the other end of the pivot bar to the end of the long linkage bar on the operating shaft. Make sure that the linkage arm is on the outside with the pivot bar on the inside. Hand tighten this connection for now. Next, attach the short pivot bar to the tab on the push panel using one of the 5 8 bolts. You'll want to make sure that the inside curve is at the tailgate end toward the operation slide. Reach into the chute and lift the push paddle up so that you can attach the other end of the short pivot bar to the tab on top of the operation slide. Now that everything is in place, use your tools to tighten all the connection points. Do not over tighten the 5 8 bolts that you just installed on the pivot bars as these are pivot points. The last thing you'll need to do is to set the brake on the steer pusher. Having the brake set properly will ensure that you can lock the push paddle in the up position so that it doesn't discourage a steer from entering the chute. To adjust this brake, use a 9 16 wrench to tighten or loosen the nuts on the adjustment bolts located on top of the operation slide. 
Test the setting by lifting the steer pusher handle to bring the push paddle to the up position. If the paddle remains in this position when you release the handle, your brake is set correctly. If the paddle falls from the up position, you need to further tighten the brake adjustments. If you have any questions about your product, please give us a call at 1-800-527-8616 or visit us on the web at prefert.com. Prefert, America's number one name in farm, ranch, and rodeo equipment.